Got us thinking, will we have an early fall? And if so, what will the color display be like? We sent meteorologist Alex Williams to find out. Patchy colors can be found on some of the trees on the campus of ETSU, and that has some students ready for an early fall. Fall weather is awesome, and I'm down for the cool fall photos that everyone will take. I, I like the leaves and everything. While the display of colors this early in September can grab your attention, ETSU's arborist Travis Watson is not surprised. Based on the conditions that we've had this summer, it's, it's really not unusual in a year where we've had flash drought to start to see some of these trees start to react the way that we are right now. It's true that we had a flash drought in late June and early July, but we actually made up on rainfall during the month of August. Watson did point out that the heavier rainfall after moderate to severe drought conditions this summer caused disease to spread in some trees. Watson stated that the fall colors may be delayed a bit this year due to the dry, hot, early start to summer, and he believes that the colors may be a little less dense this year. It's going to be more sporadic. Um, some of the areas that were more affected by the drought are going to show that more, um, but areas like higher elevations or areas where it stayed cooler, they've had more rainfall, it'll probably be more like a typical year. Roan Mountain State Park Manager Monica Johnson told me that the higher elevations had about a week of dry, hot weather before storms returned in late July and August. She is also hoping for a colorful fall season. Fall colors definitely um, has a huge impact on our tourism, uh, especially in October, it's probably our busiest month, if not um, following the month of June with the Rhododendron Festival. As for the viewing times, most experts believe the higher elevation should peak around the second or third week of October with the Tri-Cities about the end of October. Reporting for News Channel 11, I'm meteorologist Alex Williams.